to build your country. And after the no, no, after they build your country, you said you said you said you want to kick them out. Look at history. I don't have to prove it. Why do you have a big Indian uh, uh, population here in this country? I've been hearing a lot of it was very expensive for us to have lots of colonies. Sorry? You know the Eng the, the common English people were suffering mm -hmm. so that we could have colonies. They were suffering, it's always bad invading the, other no, people's... It's good for the wealthy, yes. the, the rich, the royalty, mm -hmm. but for the working people, mm -hmm. it's not good for them. So, do you, do you, have to compete with the do you agree with the colonization that happened with the British and the French and the, no. and the, and the Germans? Okay, good. Do you agree with the... We you gave it back. Do you agree with the... You gave what back? Do you, the first, do the you first agree? empire to give it back. Do you agree with the invasion that happened in Iraq? Uh, well, not really. But I claim, I claim I that there is. Saddam Hussein I, was a monster. No, no, I'm saying I claim that there is too many monsters. weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Yeah, that was bullshit. Yeah, and based on that, you went there. Yeah. You destroyed the country. Yes. You took the goods from there. Now, now, if I go to your house and I destroy your house, and you come to my house to ask me for a place to live, I shouldn't complain, because I destroyed you, your house unjustly, right? And and coming to the other point that you mentioned, look, Muslims have no uh, intention of taking over. Britain. Can you tell me what you mean by taking over? Well, building mosques everywhere and... Is that taking over to you? Well, I don't How think is that taking over? Sorry? I don't think it's appropriate tell me why. to come to a country and then... Do you, do you believe... Practice a religion which preaches against the country. Do you believe that people should have the freedom uh, to express their religious faith, to pray? Uh, not really, no. Not really? Do you think people shouldn't have the freedom to be not, religious? Not when they go to a... So you should force them not to be not religious? Not in a Christian country. Sorry? When you're in a Christian Where country. Where is the Christian country? Well, the laws of this country, the laws of this country are not based. Yeah, it's not based on, on the on the biblical tradition. Well, it's not. It's not a Christian country. That's where we get our morality. Okay, uh, morality came from Emotion, the biblical tradition. Emotional yes. intelligence. Before talking about emotional intelligence, what I'm referring to is this. Yeah. Do you agree that people should have the freedom to believe what they want to believe? Yes or yes. no? Yes. Okay. Do but you when believe in Rome do as the Romans do? Sorry? When in Rome do as the Romans do. So if you travel to a Middle Eastern country, you act like a Muslim, yes. you grow your beard, you wear you wear a, a thaw, you start to pray. I've got no interest. Sorry? I've got no interest. No, but what you're saying is Why ridiculous. are you interested in my country? No, what you're I'm saying, not interested in yours. What you're saying is ridiculous, right? Even if no. you have no interest, I'm not interested. there is other English people in my country, in other people's country, right? Yeah. It's not because you're not here, doesn't mean that. Weren't. Okay, now if you go pick them all from the other countries, then you can tell the people who are here not to leave this country, right? That's a reasonable trade. But because you're not interested in leaving here, does it mean you can tell to others who are coming to enter? Look, you agree with this? Do you agree with the laws of this country? How many peop English people are there in Pakistan? Do you agree? How many do you agree Pakistan with the laws of? Do you agree with the laws of this country? Can I have a do you want to move? Because of the the noise? He doesn't want to move. Okay. Do you agree with the laws of this country? I don't country? want to be filmed, really, but yeah. That's fine. Do you, do you agree with the laws of this country? Uh, some of them and some... Well, for example, these law, new laws about wearing face masks. Okay. I do not agree because they should no, have been debated the, I'm properly. Not, I'm not referring to these ones. Oh, I'm right, referring so, to the normal laws. So you want to talk about the laws that you want to talk uh, about? No, no. I mean, generally, the laws of this country before we had this pandemic yeah, even coming. Do you agree with them? But it's quite an important point that they just made laws overnight without debating them. That's not how we do it. It's I agree with you. I'm, I'm agreeing with you at this point. But we are not, we are having a discussion. We are having a discussion. We're having a discussion. Scientists are communists. Man. Just before we, we divert. They're we're having literally it. some of them are part of the communist party of Britain. We, we're, having it, we're having Look a discussion. Susan Mickey, she's a communist. We, she's we are. Before we divert. Communist. Brother, brother. What? Excuse me, sorry. I'm having a conversation with him here. Before we divert to another conversation about, you know, Someone corona. who's a communist Look, is advising uh, we, our government. We were, having, we were having a discussion over people in this country, right? Yeah. Not corona. So I don't want to divert. There's a pact with communism and Islam. Okay, before we, di before we divert, before we divert the, the discussion, what I was saying is, was very simple. There, was, there is laws in this country. Yeah? These laws have allowed the people who entered the country to enter, right? If you have a problem with that, you should elect a party which yes, I did. makes... Yes, okay, I tried to. Okay, that means... Do you believe in democracy? Party. Do you believe in democracy? Well, democracy says that they don't agree with you, my friend. So if the majority says that they are happy with other people coming because they bring business yeah. opportunities, you shouldn't be upset if you believe in but democracy. If you, if you looked at the map after the election, all the cities were red Labour. All the, no, all the ordinary English people voted Conservative, yeah? Ordinary English people? Yeah, the real... So other people are not ordinary? Yeah, the working class English people. Okay, yes. Who love this country. Okay. They all voted Conservative. And who hates, who hates this country? Well, the people who live in London. People who live in London yeah, hate my London. My family, my friends. Okay. They hate this country. You're, you're, 
You're English yes. people, you're referring to English because people now. Because they're self, they lo self-loathing because they've been taught okay. at school to be ashamed of our culture. And, and like, you're not happy not, with that? Culture, no. Ashamed of your history. Yes, and I'm not. Because okay. I read it myself. That's and what, I'm can, not ashamed. Can you tell me something I'm about very the, proud. Can you tell me something about the British culture? Okay, yeah, we we are the first culture in history yes. to stop slavery. Okay. At great Where did you get that information from? Great expense. We patrolled the Atlantic Ocean with okay. our navy can, to can, stop slave ships. Can you give me yeah? Can you give me a, a historical reference over what you just said? Do you, do you, so you're saying we didn't? We yes, didn't use I'm our saying I'm saying you're not the first person to uh, to remove slavery. 100% right. you're not. Okay. Well, do you have any evidence for the claim you that, made? It's something that all mankind did. The whole of okay, history. so now it's all mankind, not the British people. No, I'm asking about, a, do you know what culture means? Natural, can so you tell me what culture means? Actually, I think slavery is a natural human nature. Can, can you tell me what culture means? It's not means? all bad. Why is culture? It's not all bad. Why is culture? What is culture? Yes. Well... It's uh, not an achievement your country did. I'm asking you, you said you, you want to protect the British culture. Yes. There's no such thing as the British culture. Tell me what is the British Shakespeare. culture. Shakespeare is the British yeah. culture. <laughs> Are you being serious? Magna Carta, all the medieval kings. Tell me something about King your Canute. culture. I want to learn about your culture. Well, you, what is it? Well, you, have a, you have a, a specific English, English dress. The Tudors. Uh, English, English food. Henry VIII. Why is the English Henry food? VII. Why is the English food you have? The English dress. Yes. Um, Tell me. Like eel, your culture. You know, seafood. Seafood. Yeah. That, that's that's Thanks British. Man. That's Come British food. Haggis. Fish and chips, yeah. That, and that, chips. that is, that is. Look, the problem yeah, we, is. We just got fish out of the ocean. Oh, I can, and cooked it like everyone else. Do you know, hundred years ago. In Britain, every woman, every woman who was walking these streets, were covered, covered her head. Yes. Why? This is your culture. Yeah, that was ages ago. But that's but that's, still what, doing that's it. what culture is. Yeah. I'm saying 100 years ago, and that's what culture is. Yeah, yeah. But we. Okay. So your English culture says that yeah, women should we cover their heads. So if you want to protect English culture, you should tell women to cover their heads, because that's the, your culture. 100 years ago, they were acting like Mary, the mother of Jesus, because yeah, they were we, following the 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 uh, Judeo-Christian laws, well, and they were covering like she was. We've let that out, genie out the bottle now. With uh, you did? With women's Can rights. you tell yeah, me, yeah. Oh, based on what have you We've done that? We've gone too far. No, no, based on what have you removed that? Based on what have you said that this is now not I relevant? We've gone too far with women's rights. <laughs> Sorry? I believe we've gone too far now with women's rights. You mean you give women too much rights? <laughs> yeah, I think they think they have to go to work, have an amazing career, and bring up loads of children. Okay. You can't do both. I agree. Yeah. That's why Islamically, so we don't agree with that. Now. Sorry? I feel sorry for the women now because Look, they're, going, the they're driving themselves crazy. Yeah, there was a, there was a plan behind the telling women behind now. behind telling women these things about feminism and, yeah. and telling them self empowerment. If they read history, okay. they, they would get a more grounded. That's why Islam is relevant today, because Islam agrees with you. Yeah, it's conservative. Do you see, you see, Islam agrees with you more yes, than you think. Yes, but I don't want any of that. I want. What do you know about Islam? I want Judeo-Christian conservatism. Say, what do you know? Islamic conservatism. What do you know? What do you know about Islam? I know that it was started in the sixth, uh, seventh century by Muhammad. So. That's that's wrong information. The first information you know is right. wrong. What else do you know about Islam? Was it based on Ishmael? No. A Jew. No, no. We don't we don't we don't deal with this kind of racism stuff. This when is did not it start? Islam. Islam started with the first human being. Right. Do you know what Islam means? And what about Judaism? Sorry? Judaism. Judaism comes from Judah. So it's before Islam. Sorry? Islam. Was Adam before the Judah or after Hebrews, Judah? They were when they were born. You know, the beginning, before, before Jesus. Do you want me to answer your question? Yeah. Islam means submission to the Creator. Yeah. Right? We believe Adam, the I first human... submit. I understand. Let me just finish yeah. on. Did I tell you to submit? I'm explaining to you what we believe, right? The first human being existed, which we believe was Adam, yeah. right? He was a submit, he's submitting himself to the yeah. Creator, right? We got that from the by Jews. That, by that, there was no Jews at the time. Now, if Adam was the first human being, how did you have Jews? Now, if you allow me to finish, you'll it's understand what I'm saying. If you allow me to finish, you'll understand what I'm Isn't saying. It the Hebrew story? Are you just Hebrew repeating things you hear? Is it not a Hebrew story, Adam and Eve? No. No. It's not a Hebrew story. So it comes from what, Arabia? The stories that you, you see about Adam, about Noah, about, existed way before the, the biblical tradition. Yes. Do you know that? Well, yeah. Okay, so it's not, it's not a Hebrew time, but they were the first people to get it down in writing so, properly. Before, before, the Ten Commandments. Before, before we talk about writing, yeah. let me explain what, what I'm saying, right? Islam means submitting to your creator, yeah. right? The one who created you, the one who made you. We believe the first human being was a Muslim, Adam. Now you're, you're referring to Judaism. Judaism comes from Judah. Judah is of the 12 sons of Jacob. Jacob was the son of Isaac. Isaac was the son of Abraham. Yes. What religion was Abraham? There was no Judaism. Well, yeah, he was... There was no Torah, there was no Gospel. Um, Assyrian. That's not a religion. Astarte. That's not a religion. They were monotheists. I'm asking what religion uh, was here? They were monotheists. Persian. Persian. 
Persian is Persian a religion? Well, the race. They, the Zoroastrianism. Oh, oh well, there was no Zoroastrianism at the time. Cyrus the Great. It, well, they, he didn't exist at the time. He was not even he born. Was, he was a friend of the Jews. How is your knowledge of history? Well, it's patchy. Okay, now like everyone's. Is. Okay, let's listen. There's not enough time to read like the entire history yes. perfectly. I agree. But before you make a claim about Muslims, you should yeah. know one, one or two things about well, them. I keep hearing you, the seventh century started by Muhammad, and you're saying that's not true. So do you believe any hearsay, hearsay things well, you, hear, that, you hear around? you hear something again and again and again, you think... I guess do you know what brainwashing is? Yes, obviously. Okay, that's what happened to you, my friend. But I'm, but I'm aware of... I'm telling you I'm, that's what happened I to you. Always play do you hear in the media, do you hear in the media you have to wear the mask? I question everything. Do you hear in the media you yes. keep hearing you have to wear a mask? I don't do it. Why no. do you disagree with that? I don't do it. Exactly. So similarly, when you... Similarly when, you hear, similarly, when you hear in the media that Islam started, the Islam started in the skepticism. Okay, when you hear in the media repeatedly that Islam started in the seventh century, it doesn't make Not it a in fact. The media. Where did you hear it? Like I look, up, I, I listen. To, I've heard other Muslims tell me this. From who? Name other me one Muslims. Muslim who told you that. Uh, ones I've seen online. The ones you've seen online. Yeah. So you heard something online, why would they, why, and that made your, it true. Where made does it, it a fact. Start? You're Sorry. You're saying it started just, it was always there. Islam is a That's concept. Very, Islam very, is a concept of, prove that. Islam is a concept of submission. Okay. Right? We believe each prophet that came to humanity, Adam, Jesus, Moses, Noah, Abraham, all of them were Muslims. They will all bring in a concept of submission to your creator. Right? So, we don't believe Prophet so Muhammad, Muhammad started not that. No, he didn't start that. You don't think did, did I say that? No, no, or you're putting words into my mouth. Jumping, jumping. You're asking who started the religion, not who is important he's and who's not. the most important figure in the history of Islam. Uh, in what way? In Allah the, says in chapter 2 of the Quran, it? you want me to answer my question? Who wrote the hadith? Allah says in chapter 2, uh, now how many, which question do you want me to answer? What's your name? Where do you live? Did you travel last year? Did you come here? Okay, Did you go the there? Hadith? Which question do you want me to answer? Who wrote the hadith? Okay, very good question. Who wrote the hadith with the companions of Prophet Muhammad? The people who lived with him, people who heard what he said, wrote down what he said and it transmitted back to us. We have uh, carbon dated manuscripts of what Prophet Muhammad said. Yeah, right. and he plagiarized it from the Hebrew text. Okay, what, what did he plagiarize? Give me, give me an example. Uh, give me an example, brother, if you just allow Jesus. me to. Sorry? Jesus? He plagiarized Jesus, a historical they person, Jesus. figure. Yeah. How did he plagiarize him? Did you read the but story? Him. Did you read the story of Jesus in Islam and the story of Jesus in, in the, the Bible? King of the Jews, yeah. Sorry? They mentioned Jesus, the king of the Jews. Are you saying Jesus was the king of the Jews? The yeah. Jews don't agree with That's you. That's what he called them. The Jews don't agree with you. And Are you Christian? From David. Are you Christian? Well, I was brought up Christian. You were brought up but Christian. But now I've learned. So you, do you believe in owe everything to Do you believe in Christian to values? Jews. Do you believe in the Bible? We owe everything to the Jews. Do you believe in the Bible? Uh, the Old Testament. Yeah. In the Old Testament, not the New Testament. Not so much. Okay, so in the Old Testament, when God told told people, yeah. in in in, uh, in Numbers thirty one verse seventeen, when right. Moses told his soldiers to take one. to take little girls, right, yeah. and rape them, do you agree with that? Uh, yeah, yeah. You agree with li rape of little children? Of course not. That's the British values. No. You want to bring, oh, yeah, and you don't want Islam. Yeah, we, we rape lots of young. But you said you said you, you agree with the Old Testament. I, I think do you agree know, if you I rape a woman? Where young people get raped more do you than. do you agree if you rape if you rape a woman you yeah, should give her father? Do you agree if you rape a woman? Do you agree if you rape a woman? Uh, come on, the Catholic Brother, Church brother, we don't want to divert. Please, please, let me speak with him. Do you agree if you the go? Want to make you do you agree? In the Vatican than anywhere else in the world. No, that's what they want. That's what the pedos want you to believe. No, so you don't look for them everywhere else. else. They're everywhere. Brother, brother, brother. They're everywhere. Speak to him. They're in the do you agree? Church, do you the agree? Church, do you agree that if you should go rape a woman, you should pay her father fifty shekels, and then she should be forced to marry you? That's what the Old Testament says, Deuteronomy. Yeah, but we know where that's going on in the world still, don't we? Do you agree with it? That if you rape no, no, a woman, but, she but should be forced to marry you. But that Sorry? happens in countries but in the world now. But that's your morality. That's, so what, that's what you believe in. Why don't we fight against it? You said it? you're Christian, you believe in the Old Testament. That's Saudi your morality. Arabia. Why don't we stop it? Uh, you should stop it. I agree. Well, no, I think what we part should, of Saudi Arabia do you want to stop? Just, what is it that you want to stop? We should just cut them off. Sorry? We should just cut Saudi Arabia. So you Arabia. should kill Saudi Arabia? No, cut them so off. So you're propagating not killing innocent, innocent no, no. people. Is that not what you're saying? Them. Let them kill each other. Let them kill each other. That's what so, you, so you believe that people should go killing each other? No, well, it's their business. I'm not interested in what they do. So who told you they want to kill each other? You said let them well, kill each other. I'm not in, I'm interested so, so in So is that, that the point. values you're saying? Push Islam it's away, but let's allow it's other people business. to... Where did they tell you they want to kill it's each other? It's not my business. When did they say they want to kill each other? It's not my business what goes on. When in did they say they want to kill each other? Well, they seem to be... They don't seem to have value life. Have you been to Saudi Arabia? Well, they, they have slaves. Have you been to Saudi Arabia? No, no, Can I you tell me one city in Saudi Arabia? 
But they built, you know, Dubai, they're building these huge... Dubai is not in Saudi Arabia. United Arab Emirates. Okay, so you were a friend in Saudi Arabia. Why did you go to the United Arab Emirates? They're very similar. How? They're not similar. Well, are you similar very, to the German they're because they're next to you? No, no. Are you similar Are you similar to USA? They're ultra conservative. Sorry? They're ultra, like... Who told you that? Well, that's what I see. That's what you think. But you have you no said, knowledge of them. You're saying they're liberal countries. No, are you assuming liberalism is true? What evidence do you have for that? Yeah, to a point, yes. Uh, tell me the, your evidence for the, for the truth of liberalism. Well, uh, why should we adopt I'm liberalism? I'm a liberal in the sense that I want, I allow you, I'm not going to tell you what You to allow do. me? Yeah, you I allow you. think you have authority to allow me no, or stop me? Well, no, yeah. You have the same authority you, in this country as I do. You have the same authority to, yeah, to so allow you, me to have my own opinion uh, and to say what I want. That, that was the beginning. You said Muslims should not have their their freedom to pray in their mosque. That, that, yeah, and now you're England, saying you're liberalist and you want to allow them to pray. You're contradicting because yourself. I don't think I wouldn't go to a Muslim country and build a church. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, but now, I don't agree now, with that. You're saying, you're saying you're a liberalistic person. Yeah. You believe in liberalism, yeah, but, you don't, but you, don't do want, want. you don't want to give the liberty to Muslims to pray. Not in my country. No. So we, should they, where should they pray? Where, in their you country, give me a solution. In their country. No, they live here now. Where should, where should they pray? Well, if they, if they, they're if they working. Pray, they're giving you money. They they're should, paying. They're paying you taxes. But if they want your, your country is growing. Here. Your they country. Move to a Christian country. Your country is growing. Your country. Yeah. So okay, okay, he was born here. Yeah. So what do you want to tell him? So love this country. What do you have to say to him? Did he tell you he hates this country? Where well, does he pray? Why don't, why don't you be a Christian? Oh, so your your solution is for him to leave his religion and adopt yours. That's liberalism. No, no, I don't, That's liberalism. I yeah. Want him to leave liberalism his religion, is to force killed. you. Liberalism is to force you to leave your apostasy, own religion and adopt another one. What's the punishment for apostasy? In what religion? Which one? In the Old Testament. The only one. In the Old Testament, in, in Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, the verse six, which has is death. to kill the person and yourself. The only one that is. In death. your morality, you should go kill the person yourself. Deuteronomy chapter thirteen, what verse in six. 2020? Is that what you believe? What in twenty twenty? But you believe in the Bible. Which religion you said. in twenty twenty? You said you believe in the Bible. It's a punishment, death for so apostasy. Can you tell me what is the punishment for apostasy? You can you tell me? Yeah, death. Death. In That's Islam. what you believe. In Islam. Robert, liberalism is the same. That's what John Stuart Mill said. What? Do you agree with that? Say I don't agree Do you know what social social contracts are? Sorry. You get killed. Sorry? You get killed if you say you don't believe in liberalism here. No, I'm saying treason. Yeah. If you apostate, treason? if you apostate, uh, what is what is the, what is apostasy? Leaving a religion. Okay, is that not considered to be treason? Well, in Islam, apparently, yeah. And, and you're talking about Islam. Can you tell me where does Islam say that the punishment we for apostasy care. is death? No one's Christian anymore, so no one cares. You so, can but you said you're Christian. You, like you said you were Christian. What happened to you? You changed your mind now? No. You I said mean, you believed in the Old Testament. I was a lap Christian, and then I realized that we owe everything to Jews. You said you believe in the Old Testament. Yes. People heard you saying you believe in the yes, Old Testament. Okay. Because if you believe in the Old Testament, the punishment, that. the punishment in the Old Testament of apostasy is to kill the person yourself. You should gather everyone around, pick up stones and stone the guy yourself. We don't believe in that as Muslims. That's what you believe well, in. You should, yeah. Oh, we, you should. Yeah. So now you're happy with, with killing apostates. Why were you upset about it two minutes ago? Well, no. Do you, why are you contradicting yourself every two minutes? Because I'm look, human. look, 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 look. It's fine to be we human. It's fine to make mistakes. You you've never my only advice, no, my only advice, have of course I have. I have. I have. So don't be but so I don't speak about things without knowledge like you. I don't speak about things that I don't know. When I spoke about your text, I gave you references. Who really knows anything? Huh? Who really knows everything? knowledge? Do you exist? At least you know that. Are you talking to me right now? Yeah, but you don't so know we know what certain I've read. things, yeah? You don't know what I've read and you don't know oh, what I've read. Oh, I certainly know you haven't read the Old Testament, that you just believe, you say you believe. I've read some of it. Uh, some of it? But you've got to keep reading it and reading it. Okay, what have you read in the Old Testament? Uh, Give me a verse. Lately I was reading uh, about Gideon. Give me a verse, and yeah. He, and God told him the Midianites were coming up into, well, I think it was like Sinai. Okay. And they were eating, you know, grazing all their livestock on the land. Okay. And God told Gideon, you need to get rid of these people. Kill them. Yeah, eliminate them, them. Yeah. and you agree with that yeah because they're eating all your so you believe that british vegetation. people should kill the muslims that are doing the same right well i believe the people that are coming across the you channel you believe Mus should muslims kill should them. be killed that's what you believe just say go back you believe the british people just should kill back. you believe british people you should kick out the muslims that are in this country yeah for the sake of the yeah for thank the you poorest people in this country yes you need to protect this country that's so you why should you kick the muslims the out you should kick the muslims it's out it's all right for the wealthy people so you should kick the muslims out no, yeah, the poor Do you know what happens if you kick the foreigners in this country? Yeah, some you of them. Have food some to eat. of them. You will not have food to eat. Not all of the them. The only reason, all your goods in this country are coming from outside. Don't you think there's a, All the workers in this country are foreigners. Amount, don't you think there's a, there's a point where there comes too many? Don't you think there's a... We, 
We want some, but not the entire world. No, only a racist thinks like you. A racist? I, I don't mind if in my country existed British people or otherwise, as long as they're living peacefully. As long as they're helping in the building of the country, we where can't is the take issue? Everyone. Sorry? We can't take everyone. You don't take anyone, you have no authority. You're just a citizen. No one asks you before inviting anyone. When people put laws in this country, they didn't ask your opinion, did they? I thought you believe in the democracy. We're trying to reassert As someone who believes the power in democracy. The people, sorry? We're trying to reassert now. Which is democracy. The yeah, power yeah. of the people. Well, we've we've the let it slip. The power we've of let the it slip since the Second World no, War. According to you. The majority thinks no. that it's fine to allow people. Doesn't think. It does? No. It does. So you're saying a majority of these people in this country are idiots? Well, no, majority of human beings. Thank race. you. They're, they're listening to you there's now. An elite they're, they're listening to you calling them idiots. Hi there's an elite of people that read history and have open minds, skeptical minds, critical thinking. Okay, okay. You don't like Islam, right? Can you no, give no, me no, an no. alternative? Yes. Can you give me a certain uh, set, set of values? Alternative is Christianity. Yeah, Judaism. Okay. So if a woman shouldn't, I was giving you certain verses in, in Judaism and Christianity now. If a woman doesn't cover her head, it should be shaved. Do you agree with that? No. That's the that's Christianity. That's the alternative. I thought you believed in the alternative. Yes, it's in the Bible. Corinthians chapter 11. So if you believe in the Bible, you should believe that all of these women here should be shaved. You can use your judgment to, you know, some some things are just not applicable in the modern world. You know, we so who we decides? Can't do a who decides? Now, you, you can't go back to who decides? Times. Who decides? You can't go back. I understand. Yeah. Who this? That's in the New Testament. That, that is the most recent that, about Paul Wise Ross. people who've read a lot. Yeah, people like me. No, I'm asking you now. Who decides? which verses to take from the Bible yeah. and which not to take and why should we take your opinion over anyone else? Because you... If we have two people, one saying we should apply this verse and you're saying we shouldn't, why should we take your opinion? I think because if some people have dedicated their life to, to learning and being... You watched, haven't, clearly. No, I haven't. You haven't even heard of this verse in your life no, and you're saying we should I admit, apply the Bible. I admit I was a late starter, but I'm trying to make up for a lot of time by reading as much as I possibly can. And every time I read a book, I feel like I've become a better... You know, my mind has that's become a, better. That's better. a good thing. Have you read yeah. the Quran? The Quran? Yeah. No, because there's not enough Because time. you're prejudiced. No, I, re I want to read the Old Testament. So, so after rather, reading... Wouldn't it be better to read the Old Testament again rather than read the Quran? No. It okay. wouldn't be better. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because it all comes from the Old Testament. No, no. Because, yes. that, because that's your assumption over it. There's nothing it. original in Because there. that's your assumption over it. The story of Adam and Eve... The, I'm giving you an example. What's the story the great, of Adam and Eve... Wasn't a great original idea in the Quran? Sorry? What's a give me one great the idea whole Quran. Could, could, the whole Quran. Of the whole Quran that could... That you could just say in a sentence which would make me change my mind on the Quran. Give me some nothing amazing change piece your of mind. wisdom. Nothing would change your mind on the Quran. Let me give you a few verses. Exactly. There you go. You let me tell it. you. No, because you're prejudiced over it. You have set no, up your mind over it. You could, okay, let me I'm, tell you a verse. I've got an open mind to a, a brilliant idea. Okay, let me a tell you. A very wise idea. Give me, me a wise you. idea. I'll give you a wise idea. Allah yeah. says in the Quran, chapter 2, verse 256, yeah. there is no compulsion in acceptance of religion. Muslims don't believe that you should compel anyone to adopt a religion. You should well, enforce you it on me. him. Sorry? You could have fooled me. Oh, go read it. Chapter 2, verse 256. Like Open your phone now and read it. No. Didn't, didn't Muhammad no, he didn't. by force? No, he didn't. No, he's, he wasn't a warlord. No, he wasn't a warlord. He was a peace. How do you define peace. a warlord? He was like Jesus was. He was like... How do you... Don't, don't Jesus was a man of peace? Man. Do you believe that? He was a fucking hippie. Do you, do you believe Jesus was a man of peace? Yeah, I think he's a hippie. I don't think Jesus was, was a hippie. I don't think he was all good. Jesus was a hippie. In a way, yeah. Okay. You know, turn the other cheek. Okay, now, Sometimes you know what, at cheek. least I care about Jesus. Sometimes he's my prophet. To fight to he's my, I'm offended you calling him that because he's my prophet. I don't appreciate you calling him. He will call you a hippie. He's nothing, what are you compared to Jesus? What are you compared to Jesus? How many people did you influence in your life? How many people well, we'll know about you? We'll see by the How end. many people know we'll about you? Compare yourself to a man we'll who, who existed 2,000 years ago. You know about him. You know his life. Yeah. What are you compared to him? Right. You're calling him a hippie. What are you compared to him? What have you changed in the world? Now in the day, now in the what age have you changed in the world? You are, you know, you know, you know, now, nothing of Jesus do you, you compare to. Yeah, you are nothing guy. compared to him. It's just one guy. You are nothing compared to him. He's just a human. He is a guy. But humans are not, are not equal in, in the impact they do over the world. The guy who gave you, who, who invented electricity is not like the guy who didn't do anything in his life, I is agree. it? Okay, so Jesus is not like you, he's better than you Great in that man. aspect. Great he man. had effects over humanity, 
where he put these commandments to so many people that exist today that don't kill, don't rape, don't steal because of his commandments. That yeah. they maybe killed you. That they getting, maybe stole from but you. Jesus came nearly a thousand years after Abraham, you know. So, so there were many Jewish so, prophets before Jesus. Okay, G uh, Hinduism so why did Jesus exists. Get all the credit? Hinduism existed before Judaism. I think Moses is just. Why are you not following Hinduism? What about Mo Moses? Why are you not following Hinduism? Jesus, uh, God spoke to Moses, gave him the Ten Commandments. How so do you know that? Moses is just as much Jesus' as son. How do you know God's, uh, God's son? How do, you Jesus. Know, how do you know God spoke to Moses? I just, it, I just know it. I feel you just it in know my it. Heart. Yeah. You just know it. That's what I've learned okay. recently. So if someone knows otherwise, he Moses also. Know it. Is a very important thing. Why? Because I, why? Give why, me a reason. Why was his idea? He's just a man, according to you. How has his ideas conquered the entire world? Where? Well, North America, South America, Africa. Okay. Asia. They're not Christian countries today. Well, they, so how, how they're not Jewish countries. So how did did Moses well, affect no, them? It's based in Jews. Look, look. It's based in yeah. Let's, Moses. let's have some rationality. It's based in Moses, Moses yeah. Let's have let's Moses. have let's have some rationality. What's I, wrong with Moses? I believe in Moses. I have nothing wrong with him. And you don't believe but he had I'm the just, Ten Commandments? I'm given. showing you. I'm showing you the inconsistency in what you're saying. That's no, the only no, thing I'm doing. You're just being a sophist. Mate. You're you're asking. You're, you're asking. Trying to be clever. But what would I gain from that? It's very bad. You're, what would I gain from that? I get a feeling of kind of bad will from your arguments. So you know now you see what's in my heart. The yes. person who wants to kill a Muslim, kick them out, you're, you're, you're trying to be is the person who judges other people who, who has the ill will and good will. You're trying to catch me out, but it's not going to work. What, what would they gain from that? I don't know, like some kind of shallow feeling of superiority. I don't know. Uh, and then what did they gain? That. Wasting my time, that's an what I gain. An ego boost. An ego boost. Are you Sorry? trying to convert him? No, I didn't. An ego boost. He's, he, he's here having he's the most busy. absurd yeah, well, bad thoughts busy. about Islam. How can I convert him? <laughs> Thoughts about Christianity and Sorry? Christ. He also no, he's not Christian. Even. No, no, but then what's the point of the conversation? Because he, he obviously is jarring you. He, he believes that Muslims in this country should be kicked out. I'm a Muslim. So, well, he's not so, it, that. so is, yeah. he did say that. <laughs> he did say what, that. What's his, what's his, because it's a Christian country. Look, there you go. So he believes you should be kicked out as well. Are you a you're not, you're not English. Are you a uh, well, kind of a lapsed Christian, but now I've realized that should, should he be kicked out? He's not, he's not, he's not English. Yes. Uh, Rastafarian. So he should go back to his country. He should go back to his country. Um, or should he stay here? Well, if you love, you don't you love Ethiopia? You from me. You don't from you love me. Ethiopia? You, you Do you see now you're gonna go? I guess. Yeah. You see now why I'm talking no, to him. That is the reason I'm talking to him. In Ethiopia. In Ethiopia. Yeah. You, the earth is the laws and the fullness thereof. So we should be happy wherever we are. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But this land, no one in this country can cannot give anyone an acre of land because they don't own any land. Everything that we get, we have to buy. Even the queen, she has to, to buy. When he's staying here, he's paying taxes. He's not staying here for free. When he works, he benefits the country, just like I do, just like every person here does. Yeah, but even, you want to kick the people who are actually helping the economy so, of your country. Bro, it's well, illegal. Like, you want to go back to your country because it's, it's, it's corrupt. It's illegal for us to pay Where is my country? Well, every country. Where is my country? Can you please Islamic. tell me why is my nationality? Well, I, how do you know my country is corrupt when you don't even know where I'm from? Because all Islamic yeah. countries are corrupt. What's your nationality? Well, how do you know I'm from an Islamic country? Well, what's your nationality? Guess. Sorry? A wild guess. And that's the issue. So right? You're, you're, what, you're profiling you people. Are you from a Christian? You're profiling country? people. And what's you have prejudices against other people. What's mine? What's your nationality? Uh, English. So your English is a nationality or is it a language? Yeah. Are we not, am I not allowed English, to have a nation? English. Is it English a nationality or is it a language? Uh, he doesn't but, know about history. No, no. But this guy. This guy, let, so you just, let me ask you a question. So you said that yourself. Is English, you said you're an Englishman. Yes. Is English a language yes. or is it, it's a language? It's a Latin based language. Yes. So, are you, so what's your origin? Uh, you know, Saxon, Central Saxon. Europe. Saxon, and what, the, how did the Saxons get here? Germany. Germany. Did, how did they get here? On ships. Doing what? How did they? Why, like, what was there? Were they traders? Well, you know, there were indigenous were they, people. Hold on. Were they traders? And they, we mixed. You know, there was a Norman invasion in 1066, and you know, 1066. and then we intermarried. So it was like 10% of the population is Norman. So okay. So so the Bible was translated 400 years ago. Yeah, and we did crusades. Hold on. Bro, bro, right? listen, yeah, yeah. I haven't even finished my question. The Bible was translated 400 years ago, 1611. King James Version. King James Version. Yeah, yeah. it's the first translation. Yeah. Translated it was translated no. from Hebrew. In Greek. You see, it's talking about the English translation. First these, English these guys, one. Yeah, they, they, these the guys, by, you see, the first English translation was the okay. King James. Okay. Hmm. So the first English translation yeah. 
was the King, the King James. James. Yeah. Yeah. Where that came from? And Greek? they made a lot of mistakes. Oh, this sorry, guy. Sorry. He, he has a question to you. He, he, understand, just he, he understand, I understand where his mindset is. Because yeah, obviously. It's going very fast. Yeah. You see, you study from. You, 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 you suffer from anxiety. Yeah, yeah, because you can't wait until the question is finished, so you're anxious. Yeah, so yeah, just, yeah. just chill. Just oh, chill. Right, right. So, 1611, before 1611, what book were your, your ancestors or your people using before 1611? Um, are we... Because remember, you didn't speak Hebrew. They were reading. They were reading Latin. You know, the scholars were reading Latin so you said this and Greek translation. This country is an English-speaking country. Yeah, the monks started monasteries in like this country. In listen, times. listen. You're the one that listen. said it. I'm saying. I'm talking. You're saying listen. No, but you haven't answered my question. Yeah. Well, I'm explaining. This country is a, It's not. It doesn't start with the King James Bible. Because what did it start? Before that. What book was it? Before? Medieval monks. Yeah. Teaching Latin. So, so the very elite. So, very when, elite. so Christianity. Most okay, were okay, okay. Most people are peasants. Okay, that's fine. So Christianity. Yeah. Who do you say that there was no Christians in England before 1611? Or were they reading? Were they? No, no, was no. it Greek? Were they speaking? That Greek? was the religion. So Christianity was the religion. Believed in a but, Jewish God. Yes. Okay. So before 1611, what what kind of book were they reading to? To, to like uplift they themselves. Were, they, they, were being, they were being preached to, like the peasants were preached to by. So they were being preached to by the Israelites. Yeah, basically. Obviously, the Hebrew Israelites. Basically. Now we're getting to your plan. Yeah, so we, Now you're so, getting from his so, slide yeah, to your plan. Well, well, yes, yes. I, I know where you're going with no, this, right? Both, but I will have a discussion with them over kicking people out who are not from no, his no, country. Well, that, that's irrelevant. That's, that's it bringing, is relevant. That's, that's it is, eight. I'll that's, tell you. I'll tell you why it's no, relevant. That, because he he seems like to at least like a person who listens, bro, right? Just, he is he is a person who listens. No, no, no. So at least we should we can have a rational discussion with him to maybe understand where he's coming from, right? Inside eight. If if the people if the people if the people in this country are here supporting the development of your country, right? They love this country, they have nothing against this country, and they just want to have the freedom yeah. to express their belief. Do you agree with that? No, because Does the that belief is preaching against our values. How? Um, women, for example. Okay. Because we've evolved to a very liberal society, which is good to a point. You know, like, uh, I don't agree with gay marriage, but I mm. do agree with allowing gay people to live in peace. So Muslims agree with the same, believe in the same. Really? They do? In some places they throw them off buildings. That's not from Islam. No. So I, I want to know. To be an Islamic country. No, I want to know. Yeah, there is people in this country who do evil things. Well, are, the you Bible says you death, are you are responsible for that? Should put to death. Are you are you responsible? Before I the Bible just says, live, huh? are you responsible for the people who are English doing bad things? Are you responsible for them? Because just because they're English, just because they're English. So I agree there is people who do bad things in Muslim countries. Yeah, I do agree. I'm the first person against that. There's no Muslim But it doesn't bro. mean that this is from Islam. There's no but Muslim it's sort of sanctioned by Islam. People you to you're kill saying gays. that is a Muslim Sorry? country. What about Pakistan? No Islam, 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 Islam allows them to kill gays that's without that's guilt because they think they're going to go when to hell. No, it doesn't. When you, when for killing gays because they're doing the right thing. I'm telling you it doesn't. They'll get virgins. Do you know what matters? They'll get many virgins if they kill people in Now what you're repeating is what you heard online. Is that not true? It's not true. Do you think nobody's killed themselves? I'm telling you now. I'm answering. Would you, you like an answer? No one's killed themselves. Would you like an answer? For that reason, when for what? Speak for the reason they're thinking they're going to get 37 votes. No. Do you know? I'll give you an example. ISIS is the most most popular kind of terrorist organization. Do you agree? You get 37. Do you know what ISIS stands for? You get 37 mother in law Sorry? If you get 37 versions, you have to have 37. Do you want an answer? Do you want an answer? It's a joke. Yeah, I understand. You don't understand but jokes. But I, I do understand no. relevant votes, jokes, okay. not, not irrelevant Only jokes. Only Jews and English people understand jokes. Okay, that's all right. That's a racist statement, but I'll take it. No problem. That's the truth. Okay, We've it's a racist comedy. statement. Sorry? What comedy have you given us? Do you, do you want... Look, the problem is with jumping everywhere, right? Yeah. I want to have a discussion with a Russian... No, I want to have a rational discussion with you, not to jump around, right? Okay, now coming back to what gay and non-gay people. The Quran says that killing an innocent people is like killing all of humanity. The Quran says fight those who fight you, right? And do not transgress. Allah does not love those who transgress. We don't believe in transgression. No, no, Allah says, say sorry? You won't say that. In, you won't stand that's up in the book. That's what the book Arabia. says. Sorry? If you're in Saudi Arabia, yeah. you won't yeah. defend What's the happening man? to the gays in Saudi Arabia? That's where they're throwing, throwing people off. No, that's wrong. Give me, give me one 
video and evidence, one photographic evidence of that happening. Maybe it's all made up. That is ma what you just referred to is made up. That doesn't happen. Do you know why? Do you know why I'm telling you it doesn't happen? They never dragged a gay man out of his house and beaten him. That's never happened. That is not from Islam in any way, shape, or form. That used to happen here a lot, yeah. Sorry? We used yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, 19, before 1960, you used yeah. that. Here, just near here, you used to hang them here. Okay. Why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? Why, 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 why what they did was wrong kill. and is right today? You shouldn't kill anyone. Why? Because you can't, it's not your right if I'm to take coming, away someone's life. If I'm life. coming to kill you. It's not your right to take away If I'm coming life. to kill you, should I be killed back? Uh, if I want to kill everyone here, should I be killed well, to protect I, the lives of the other people? I, I'll try and defend myself in self-defense. If I kill myself in self-defense. No, I'm going to kill you. Will you kill me if we protect yeah. your family? If I'm coming to kill your family? Yeah, yeah. You, so you, killing you, is not wrong in all circumstances. Yeah, Do you agree? We're talking about I mean, killing people for innocent people is wrong. Killing innocent people is wrong. You agree? Because of the people they want to sleep with, which is none of my business. Who you want to sleep with? I agree. Yeah. I agree. So Islam agrees with you as well? Oh, please. You, the problem is not liberal. If, like if you're if you're saying look, if you think Islam says you have to obey, submit, like you said, you don't get to question it. I do submit, but I'm saying you're not allowed to question it. Who told you that? That's the whole point. When you read it, you will see that you were wrong. The Jews question everything. The Quran tells you. You know that's Jewish culture to pick apart everything. Uh, the Jews, you don't know about the Jews. That's the issue. The Jews, how many Jews? Are the, how many laws did the Jews follow? You know, we had a Jewish prime minister, basically. There was a Jewish person here. I would love to bring him to tell you. <laughs> Benjamin Disraeli. Sorry? He, he, his name is even Disraeli. Just before we divert again. Before, before we divert again. Prime minister. Before we divert again, look. It's, it's hard for me to get all these misconceptions you have in your mind about Islam. Right. But I can, I can tell you one thing. If I can tell you one thing. Hamas does not represent Islam. Well, I, I can tell you one thing. Do you know what represents Islam? What represents Islam? Uh, can I tell you? Yeah. The book of Islam, the Quran, and what Prophet Muhammad said. Now what individuals do? The, the problem is you see, and I said what Prophet Muhammad said, which is the hadith. Now, now, what people do is not a representation of the faith. Not just because someone happened to be a Muslim, he done a bad deed, Islam is responsible for it. Just not, not like because uh, someone who's Christian, like the KK group, KK group, Christianity is responsible for it. Yeah. That doesn't mean that. Do you know how many people are in the KKK? No, I don't know. Very, do you know? Very few. We don't want to know how many really, how oh, the number of people Tiny. in the KKK. You think they know the number? They would arrest him if they knew the number. Sorry? It's a, the, 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 I understand. Proportion of the population not, who are in the Ku Klux Klan. What is the population of ISIS? Why is the population of ISIS compared to Muslims? No idea. Okay. Do you know how many Muslims are in the world? Two billion Muslims are in the world. Do you yeah. know the ISIS? A few thousand people. They're not even 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.1 percent, right? These people are nothing compared to Muslims. It's the same as you refer to as the KKK group. The point is that if someone does how that, many, how many Muslims, although they do, they don't actively do these things. They they agree. They'll they'll allow the terrorists. To there do are so many. Uh, uh, they won't condemn the terrorists. They would. Every Muslim here in this park that comes yeah. speaks about Islam, condemns ISIS. Have, have you asked if any Muslim example, here who comes to speak? When we had that have you asked any Muslim here who comes to speak? What do you think no, about no, the Muslim I, terrorists? This is the first time I come here. But okay, I'm telling you, we yeah. condemn them. Everyone here condemns them. But that bombing in Manchester, that young man, he was from um, yeah. Syria, I believe. Okay. Who did the bomb, yeah? That's his queen bowing down to my king, yeah? That's your queen bowing down to my king. So who's more, who's more powerful? Yeah, good. Good. That's not yeah, good. Uh, your, your whole future and your past is built on lies. Just, just coming back to what yeah, we're saying. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Just, just coming back to what we're saying, yeah? yeah. Muslims condemn terrorism. Why? Because our book tells us to do so. Our book tells us not to kill innocent people. Our book tells us not to force our religion onto other people. I was giving you references, right? You have heard certain things from individuals in the media online or otherwise, right? That's fine. The only thing I'm asking you is this. Pick up the book that Muslims believe in, which they get the religion from. Sorry? Okay. Go ask a Muslim if you have if you've seen any Muslim in your life. You have Muslims even neighbors around you or someone. Yeah. Do you believe yeah, a mosque at the end of my road. if you ask someone from the mosque, do you agree with the terrorism happening? They will tell you no. I'll tell you right now, before you meet any of them. So what you think Muslims are trying to do is not the reality of Muslims are trying to do. That's what, that's a misconception you have about us. But why should I be happy about this mosque at my road? Lots of men meeting, no women, no children. Because it's, it's not, it's, it's a representation. I it's don't a, like it's to a see representation it. of freedom of faith. But why it's is a there no women and children? Sorry? Why is there no women and children? Who said that? There is women and children no, around I, I, in the mosque. I've looked at it. 
I've, I've seen it on Fridays, it's often busy. When? When did you see it? This month. It's when the big day is Friday, yeah? No, which which Friday did you do? Recently? Most Fridays. Recently? Yeah. Uh, the laws of the of, of the COVID recently. I don't see any women the laws I'm asking you, I'm answering you. The laws of the COVID recently have prohibited us from bringing children to the mosque because of COVID. Uh, so I'm answering no, you no, right no. now. So no, you you have before seen, COVID. Before there is. Do you know there is a narration, Prophet Muhammad is praying. It's a nice mix of families. Can I, can I answer you? Do you think it are you saying that? Most can mosques I, are a mix can of families? Can I answer yeah, you? Can I answer yes or no? Are the mosques pray, place of worship or, or family gatherings? For men. Yeah. Are they place Please of worship or family gatherings? <laughs> the, they seem to be a place for men. Oh, the they are place of worship, not family gatherings. In, have you been to the biggest mosque in the UK? No, no funny. Eastland the mosque. Do you know there is a whole building called the Maryam Center for Women? I don't know why it's there. For women to pray? In Oxford, is, my, is the mosque for my women? hometown in Oxford, there's a center of Islamic studies, which is a beautiful building okay. built out of sandstone in the okay. Oxford style. Okay. You know, and all these ancient, yeah, it's built with Saudi money. Okay. Nobody cares. No, but I'm not no, talking about nobody that. Has any you ethics. were talking about women, right? Nobody has any ethics. In the mosque, women are allowed, children are allowed, and men are allowed. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, I'm answering you, Prophet Muhammad used but, to pray. But are you telling me when I, I stand outside a mosque mm. and I ate in the restaurant opposite? Why you don't go inside? You will you have your answer. You will see yeah, that there is women, there's children and there is men. Because I didn't if you go inside, massive, you would. I don't want to have a massive philosophical discussion that day. Oh, you don't have to. That's why I've come here. Yeah. This is the place for this. You don't this. have to. You don't have to. This is the place for this. Yeah, we can. So I'm, 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 I'm answering you now. I'm answering you and I'm telling you what, what you think. I'm telling you. I If we're only two people, if we're only two people, if we're only two people, it's not against the law, is it? The oh, they left. The it's fine. It's, it's allowed. It's, it's fine. It's fine. He left. It's okay. Okay. Coming back to what I'm saying. You yeah. said this is the place of discussion, yeah? Yeah. I'm telling you here. You get your information, right? I'm yeah. telling you. Your information is wrong. There is men. There is women. There is children in armor. I've seen with my own eyes. You, you haven't been inside. So what? There is a designated the, the place for women to pray. Coming in the back door. Sorry. You're saying the there women? is a designated place for women to play and designated yeah. place for men, for men to pray. No, I don't. Yeah, I just don't want to see that. Yeah. Sorry. I just, I that's, that's fine, fine. but <laughs> that's your opinion. Why should we adopt your opinion? Because Why should we like take your morality? No, but this is our worship. This where, is our religion. Yes, yeah, so we'll do it where you. If you, where you so we do it as as we, as we believe it, as you believe it. I wouldn't go to your country and do what I. No, you people who pray in my in my church. Respect my right. No, do you know there's church in, churches in my country and people pray like you pray here? What we don't force question? you. We don't, we don't force question? you. We don't force you. I'll, I will tell you after, after we finish this. Okay. In my country, there's churches. There's churches. Uh, people go. It's a Muslim country. People go. They pray like they pray here. We don't force them to pray like we do. We don't say separate men from women. They go, they pray. So this is, this is the freedom of expression that we believe in as Muslims. Do you believe in the same? Yes. Okay, so we, as we Muslim, got a much richer these women, of freedom of sorry, I, I completely disagree. If you read the history, if you read the history, what in 1880s, 90% of, of, of the African countries were under colonization. Is that freedom of speech? So we have going, going to other people's country, taking their, their wealth, destroying their country. Is that freedom of speech? From the Magna Carta onwards, we've had a history the, of that. The, 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 the Crusades, is that history of, of, of speech? Yeah. We, we, going, taking other people's, killing them, taking their goods. But we, were, we, we thought we were doing what God wanted us to. You didn't exist at that time. How did you know what they thought? Well, that's that's the, what I've read of the Crusades. You know, we were going as Christian in which soldiers. Book? In which book? Christian soldiers. Sorry? You know, Do you know what they were taking? They were like, taking the goods, killing the women, and killing and killing the children. Yeah. That's not what we do as Muslims. Well, so if you want to compare, if we you don't want, we didn't want Islam spreading. You know, like you can see in the modern day, it's like America going into Vietnam. Why is Islam spreading? We, we, we don't want communism. Why to spread. is it spreading? That's why we went. No, no, into, why is Islam spreading? But, Have you asked yourself that question? But just think of it. Can you, I think it's a really good, uh, like, uh, metaphor is mm. America going into Vietnam, going into Korea to stop the spread of communism. Because we believe, but it's, we are against communism. We believe well. it's bad. Yeah. So we, 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 we but, but we don't believe that you should kill the children we, and women because believe, communism is bad. Ordinary Americans were willing to lay their you lives down to stop communism spreading. Do you agree communism is a governmental system? Yes. So me killing children and, and women is not going to fix the system. It gives all the power to the state. 
Yeah. So you should deal with the state. You should the deal individual with, having the power. You agree you should deal with the state, not with the innocent yeah. individual citizen yeah. living yeah. that are forced. So that's what we believe as Muslims, right? The problem is the state is not the individual, right? Now, coming back to my point. Look, simply, Islam, Islam preaches a message of peace. If you think that's wrong, if you think that's wrong, if you have heard information about it that is otherwise, I'm urging you to go read. If you don't have time to read, then at least until you read, make your conclusion. But don't make... go back to the source? Why is the source? I'm telling you the Quran is the source. Moses. Sorry? Moses. But who said Moses is the source? Abraham existed before Moses. Noah existed yes. before Abraham. Adam existed before all. Yeah, yeah. But we don't have scripture from them. But Moses, so the source is God. Moses the source, kind of the source is God. Do you understand that? But Moses was like the, the water chair. Who revealed, who revealed to Moses? God. Okay. So the source is the God. God. The source is God. Hebrew God. Is God Hebrew? Is he born in a Hebrew ethnicity? Well, he spoke to the Hebrew people, you, yeah. You're, he spoke to the Hebrew people. He spoke to, he spoke to the non-Hebrew people. To the non-Hebrew people as well. He spoke to no, the people of spoke, Noah. They, they spoke to everyone else. The people of Noah. Jesus basically people of Noah. It. There was no Hebrew people at the time of Noah. Yeah. God spoke to Noah and his people. Right? God is the source. We're saying the one who is revealed to Prophet Muhammad is the one who is revealed to Moses, yeah. to Jesus, to Abraham, to Noah. So if you want to go to the source, First, ask yourself, is the writings about Moses accurate or not accurate? They are corrupted and changed. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah. It gets so, twisted. Over exactly, the years. exactly. So if, it, if they are corrupted and changed, we cannot trust what people say Moses yeah. said. Right? What well, people would you say? trust the Because Quran. it's not corrupted. We have, we have, perfect. sorry? You think the Quran is perfect? No, we have evidence of it. There is carbon dated, there is carbon dated. I don't know what's going on. There's carbon dated manuscript of the Quran completely preserved from the time of the Prophet. Come, let's, let's move a little bit this way at least. Because it's, uh, it's too loud. So there is, there is carbon dated manuscript of the Quran from the time of Prophet Muhammad. So the reason is we have evidence for it. We're not making a claim that the Quran is preserved. So I'm when I told you it's better to read the Quran than to read the, the Old Testament because it's changed. If a book is changed. How could it be better to read something newer? I'm telling you, because that old is changed, it's corrupted. So you wouldn't know exactly. what God... So you've got to go back to source. And How can you go back to source if you don't Hebrew. have it? If you don't have it. If you learn Hebrew and read the original Hebrew text. The Hebrew, the, origi the, the original Hebrew text. Don't, 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 don't interrupt, please. The Hebrew text that you're referring to is the corrupted text. Okay, Genesis, the beginning of Genesis. Shall I... You think the Jews the, the beginning, corrupted it the, from, the, from the start? I'm answering you. The beginning of Genesis is... Bereshit bara Elohim. That's the Hebrew. That Hebrew of Genesis is corrupted. It's 1,200 years after Moses. That Hebrew you're referring to is separate from the source. It's not the source. So the source is not there. Do you know why Allah revealed the Quran? To tell you the truth about what is corrupted and what is not corrupted in the previous scriptures. So the source is God, I'm telling you. If you want to go to the source, you go to God. Yeah, God. Yeah. So we are saying God revealed the last revelation, which is the Quran, to show you what is wrong and right in the previous scriptures as well. So that is the reason I'm telling you you should read. I think but, that God, that God, the Hebrew God, was there before. But they there is no such thing as the Hebrew but they God. They articulated it. No, I, I agree. It's there a, is one God, right? Was that there one is God, one God. But the, but the God that the Hebrews are talking about was yes. that one God who was always there from the beginning of time. Yeah. And, and people who the, were, the God the Hindus speaking people, about is the same. Yeah, people yeah, before God. there was organized religions knew that. They, what they do you were mean saying, by, by organized religion? You know, big. You know, growing up, you, you will be. You know, your father tells you. You know, teaches you the ways of your religion. But no, I learned that, myself. When people were like. You know, just living in tribes, when nomadic you, when tribes. When you grow, when you still, some people had the feeling, sense that there was a god looking over them. So, so would you say so they were still saying? You're foreign organized. They didn't have the words to express it. Your father, your father is British, yeah. Yes. So, are you saying you you are English. following or, organized English religion yeah. because he taught you things when you were young? Yes. But now so, I've read so, stuff so, and I realize that he was misguided. So why do you think Muslims don't do the same? We read if because we found. More, you don't question enough. I'm telling you, what religions am I telling you about? The Bible, the Old no, Testament, the New Testament? If I'm not questioning, why would I read your you scriptures? You can't say that Jewish, the Jews don't question. They don't like... I didn't say know, that. You have old rabbis, I didn't say they that. sit around you do and question. pick it apart. They do question, but not every Jewish Yeah, but that's, a cult, that's Jewish culture. It's like deep in their culture. No, there is conservative, uh, conservative Jews as well. There's not imams sitting around discussing, you know, saying, oh, I don't, I don't agree with this bit in the hadith, because they go, right, you're an Which infidel. imams are doing that? No, they don't do These it. These are the just, ones you watch online. I'm telling you, look. They don't stop. sit around questioning look, the hadith. Do you know my advice to you? Do they? My advice do they question the hadith? Uh, no. No, they don't. Do you know why? 
there you go. Do you know why they don't? So I say you don't question enough. Why not? Because you don't think you... Can you tell me why they don't? You don't think you should question God. When, look, in the hadith, in the hadith, we have a process of correct hadith, yeah. authentic yeah. and non-authentic. If we didn't question, how did we two make two categories? Sorry. Why do we have authentic and non-authentic hadith if we didn't question it? Because we questioned it, my friend. Heard that phrase, authentic. The, I'm telling you now. The sahih and daif, weak, fabricated, and we have authentic. The reason we have these categories is because we question. Yeah. There is a process, there is a science behind what we accept of hadith or not. But that question happened years ago already. So we had the, the result, what is authentic and what is not authentic. So what is the point of me with, uh, uh, doing the same process today that happened before? Do you get the point? The people of today are not questioning because the process happened already. Yeah. The authentication happened. to question it. No, who said that? Because it's I'm bad. telling you the Quran tells you to question. Isn't there a phrase like, you know, you know, something along the lines of not questioning God, like if God wills it, you know, Bismillah is it? Or? Bismillah means in the name of Allah. In the name of Allah. Okay, can I answer you? Do you know what Allah says? Inshallah. Do you know what Allah says in the Quran? Inshallah means God willing. Yeah, can, God, you know, so, God so, willing doesn't mean what you, what you think well, it means. Okay, can God I, wills it, then can I answer you? You don't question God's will. Can I answer you? Okay, look. First, we need to know if God's wills or not, right? Yeah. If we know it's God's wills, why would we question it? It's about knowing whether it's God's will or not. Allah says in the Quran, in chapter 5, verse yeah. 104, right? If it's said to someone, come and follow Islam, they say it's sufficient. It's enough for me what I found my forefathers upon. You found your forefathers on the English uh, culture you say is enough for me. Yeah. You know what Allah says? What if your forefathers did not know or were not guided? What does that mean? But they were guided by Jews. I'm saying the Quran tells you there, question, they guided by the Islam. Quran tells you there, question what your forefathers have brought to you. Don't just follow it. The Quran teaches you to question, to and look they, for evidences. That's just not true. But you haven't read it. Yeah, but I just know. So how do you know it's not true? You made up your mind before reading it. Because I just, no. why, why did I tell you to go and pick up a book and read? Go to the mosque yourself, see what is going on there. Rather than listening to some hearsay around and believing it. But Taking it wholesale. Seen, I've never seen imams like pick apart. Like, what? How many imams have you seen? But it would be, a, it would be like a no, you know, like a common thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I know that um, rabbis do that because you just know how, it. How many rabbis have you seen? Not many, but I just, you hear it over and over. I don't think you have met even one. You hear it from different... You know how hard is it to find that rabbi? No, I've spoken, I've got a lawyer, a Jewish lawyer, you know, and okay. I've talked to him about this stuff. And stuff. Okay, so you have a Jewish lawyer, I'm saying a rabbi. And I've read... I'm saying a rabbi. ...who's I'm probably the wisest Jew of all time. Sorry? I've read a lot of Disraeli's novels, and, it, and he wrote these novels... Okay. ...specifically to teach us ignorant Saxons about our own history. Because so we're now, all so ignorant. So now, now you believe the Jewish people are... So, so uh, you, him, you should leave... He was an English Jew. So he was an English Jew. And he, was, and he wrote these novels... Can you tell me what, what does Jew, Jew out mean? Out of love, to teach us mm. out of love. Mm. Yeah, because he wanted so, to help us. So you believe that, that, that you should help the Jewish people? Yes, because That's, we owe a lot to them, yeah. Sorry? We owe a lot to them. Okay. That's why the Nazis killed them, because they were jealous. Because they, you know, taken over their Are society. you secretly Jewish? Well, you know... It's not, you are secretly Jewish, aren't you? <laughs> well, there is a genetic kind of okay. race of Jewish, but also... You know, are, you, of, are you Jewish yourself? There's lots of Arab Jews. Are you Jewish yourself? You know, what, Syrian Jews. I'm asking you, are you Jewish yourself? Apple Jews, no. Are you uh, Jewish? Uh, Yes. Okay. In, now, in now we, we finally we finally reach the, the, the end. Recently, the important point. But only recently okay. from reading. Okay. 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 From reading. And now, now answering your question. Why not go to the source? That's what? What the conclusion I come because to. Because you misunderstood it. You thought it's the source, and it's not. The source was I, I need always to God. Read all the ancient Jewish stuff. Then I'll go to the Christian, and then maybe if I got time, I'll read the. That's fine. That's Torah. your choice. I don't mind, you can I'll do, do that. It in chronological you order, can yeah? do that, you can do Why that. Why not? It's up to you, you can. That's good, right? I'm not against it, you it's can. It's wise to do it in It's fine, I, I, I don't about. disagree. But uh, do you know what I'm telling you in this conversation? Do you know what I want to get in? I don't know. Before you make a, a, a claim or you make some... I know some... you won't, you would never change your mind, I can see that. Change my mind about what? About anything. How do you... You're saying I can't change my mind and you don't, you don't even have a topic in mind. Well, Give me a topic that I won't change my mind of. That... Christianity and Islam are just watered down versions of Judaism. If you give me sufficient evidence, I will change my mind. Well, right now. That it all what evidence do you have for that claim? That it all started in Israel. Sorry? The Islam started in Israel? No, the Old Testament. But you said Islam in, and Christianity. The Old Testament was written in Israel. How do you know that? Uh, well, do you know where the do you know do you know where do you know where the Dead Sea Scrolls are found? In the Dead Sea. Yeah. Is that Israel? Well, the Cave of Qumran is not Israel. 
Yeah, no, it's changed. I mean, okay. There were cultures. so you look. You, the problem yeah, is there were the many cultures is, before Israel. Look, look, you know, look, look, just humbly, before, humbly and respectfully. If you support, if you support Judaism, if you support Judaism, the Assyrians were way before the Jews. If you support Judaism, but they all bowed down to Judaism when okay. it came along. That's fine. If yeah? you support Judaism, you agree. The Assyrians you know, wanted to be Jewish. Do you know Muslims heard. protected the Jews for for a thousand years? But when they, so why you don't thank Muslims but for that? when people hear the word of God, they all go, Yeah, that sounds good. I'm up for that. Why you don't thank Muslims for protecting the Jews for a thousand years? Sorry? Protecting the Jews from the Christians. Why you don't thank the Muslims for that? Muslims protected the Jewish people from Christians for a thousand years. Why you don't thank Muslims for that? If you if you care about the Jewish people, you should so thank the Muslims. Lately. Where? When did we kill Jewish people? Well, even in even, like this country is probably the best place for Jewish people to live. But if you look, no, at, where did Muslims France, kill Jewish people? If you look at France, there's a very big. It's a horrible country. I don't want to even talk about yeah, it. Yeah, but it's a huge anti-Semitic sentiment there. Uh, do you know Muslims? So many like. Uh, do you know Muslims Africans. are against France? What? Do you know Muslims are are, are against France really? as well? Algerians. Yeah. Muslims, not just Algerians. All Muslims. Yeah, but what do about you know? Algerian Muslims? Algerian Muslims who live were, in France. were were France. were were colonized by France. For, hundred, for, for over a hundred yeah, years, yeah. right? So of course they're, they're not going to be happy with them, are they? So they come, so they want to destroy France now? No. Because they're, pissed, they're no, bitter no, and no. pissed off. If they wanted to destroy it, they would destroy it a long time ago. What are they waiting for? Well, it, it's pretty much done, yeah. Sorry? And Germany... Pretty much done. You believe France is destroyed? You know, the Nazis killed millions of Jews. Oh, well, very yes. recently. Recently. And they, and they expect you mean at the time of Hitler? They expect to be forgiven now. You mean at the time of Hitler? What? You mean at the time of Hitler? Yeah, but they're never going to get over that. Do you know that Jewish people believe that Muslims are the going Germans to... The Germans will never forgive themselves. Do you know that Jewish people believe Muslims are going to heaven? Some of them may. No, they do believe that. Do you know why? Not all of them. Because Muslims... They're all different. You can't say they're all the same. Which ones, like, which ones don't? Muslims which ones don't? They're, they're all kind. They're so... They've all got... Everyone has got a slightly different philosophy. Do you know why they believe they're going to heaven? Because you're allowed to have different ideas, but... Do you know why they Muslims believe that? Muslims have very similar... Beliefs. Do you know why they believe that? Because Muslims are monotheistic, they believe in freedom, one God. No. Freedom of thought. No. Because yes. the most important yes. thing... What is the most important thing to a Jew? What is the most important commandment? Freedom. You're not Jewish, then. You don't know the most important commandment? No, I... If I say to you, Shammai Israel Adonai Elohim Adonai Echad, what does that mean? No, I don't know what I mean. So but you're not Jewish? But I believe. You made a claim you're Jewish, but you don't no, know don't, the most important commandment for Jewish people. Hebrew, no, but I believe the bottom rule, you know, Moses led the people out of Egypt. Mm. You know, the bottom rule is, line is freedom. So you are a sheep for the Jewish Jewish people? A sheep? Yeah. You're a person who wants to protect them and follow their commandments. Yeah, well... You're a Jewish sheep. I think Moses was good to lead the no, people I'm saying, out of slavery in you, Egypt. You are a Jewish sheep. Muslims are not Jewish sheep. You say I'm a sheep. I, no, I'm not a sheep because I think I. You I are you sure you think? Yeah, I'm very critical. Can you tell me how? how what is the oldest I'll manuscript? Change, if I hear a better idea, I'll change my mind. But I don't hear a better idea uh, coming out of your mouth. The problem is what you're following. You haven't investigated. What do you mean I haven't investigated? The Old Testament. What is the oldest the manuscript? Last, year, last few years, I've just been reading as much as I can. On but you're reading corrupted books that you agreed that is corrupted. Books. Changed. Changed by humans. You, you, that's your opinion. Corrupted books, you don't know which books I've read. You say that. No, I'm I mean, referring to the Old Testament that you're saying you're reading. Silly. The Old Testament I'm, I'm talking about. Yeah, no, I agree. It's translated by a Catholic, by a Christian. So no, I'm saying, I'm saying the wanted, Hebrew is changed. Right, yeah. I wanted, the Hebrew I is 1,200 years. Multiple different translations, and then you, maybe you'll get... But well, what's the point? I'm saying the, what's the, point? the source. The source is corrupted. That you're reading translations of. Yeah, well, that's but the best what? we got. Sorry? So no, I'm showing nothing. you some. I'm just showing nothing. I told you what to read. The Quran, which is not read corrupted. Anything. Read the Quran, which is not corrupted. But why would I read that? Because it's not corrupted. How could it be not corrupted? Something that came so many years later. Because it's from the source, from the time of the source. Why wouldn't it have been? Come, why wouldn't it have been? Found is your problem just before? with the with the history, the time? Is that your only problem? Well, I just respect things that seem to have been tried and tried and tested. So over why are you years? not following Hinduism? It's before, it's before the Jewish people. Because most Hindus, when they hear Judaism, they, they go, yeah, that's probably a better idea. Yeah. No, that's before. Who, who, are you now making clips about Hindus? I don't, I don't think you know any Hindus, my friend. I don't think there's many Jews who've become Hindus. Sorry? I, believe, I, don't, I don't... You can't become... Do you think Hindus can become Jewish? Well, yeah. You need, you need to go ask your lawyer if can Hindus become Jewish or not. Well, no, yeah. But look, look. If they bow down to God. If they bow down to God and say, yeah. If they become sheep. If they become sheep. The if they become sheep. You can say sheep. Okay, look. But again, I think I think it's tiring. Being I think alone, honestly, I being think an individual saying there's no God, I'm, I don't need any God. You know, okay. it gets boring. Okay. I want to just have some love. And so God. you believe in God? 
Yeah, because I've been, I'm tired of being an atheist. Okay. I realize it's foolish to be an atheist. I agree with you. Yeah. Look, we agree on much more than what you think we, we disagree no, upon. No, whatever, but... <laughs> it's not obvious that. Okay, look, I have nothing against you. Were... Can you tell me your name because atheist. I didn't ask your name. What's your name? Frankel. Frankel. Okay, look, I have nothing against you, Frankel, right? Muslims I, do. People... I think you're, you're a kind of sophist and you're, you've got bad intentions with you. That's fine. You're, you're entitled You're entitled to your opinion. I don't you're mind. You're not you interested can... in growing your mind, in hearing a different opinion. You want to just make people look bad, look people look stupid, I believe. That's your... Do you think I made you look stupid? No, because you couldn't because you're not... You've got nothing... So, so why did you say you're that? You're not speaking out of love, so you, you're never... How do you know I'm not speaking out of love? Because I can tell in your tone and your your body language, the little look in your eye. Okay. So what, what, in, what point, in what point am I talking to you? What is my intentions? Well, you've got this kind of like... You believe you're right and you've got nothing... Is there a chance that I could be? Is there a chance that I could be right? You got nothing to learn. I got nothing to learn. You're certain that. that Do you have something that the valuable Quran to is teach? For some reason, you you put the Quran up on his pedestal, whereas the Old Testament is corrupt. Because I looked at both. All I right. studied the history so you, behind both. You you studied the unique information which gives you the truth. But anyone else? No one. I else, don't say it's unique. You can't study anyone it as else well. Anyone else can't quite get to the truth. No. As all good, the old as can. Well as you can. The old can. No. The yeah, old can. You can as well. Yeah, but I but say you I haven't have. done the research. I've got a different truth to you. No, you say it's you different. you say you have, but you haven't read. Yeah, but you don't know. No, you told me you, you you're haven't ignorant read. Ignorant of my knowledge, and I'm ignorant of yours. You told me you haven't read. I've read lots of things that you. You told, told me you haven't read the Quran. You haven't finished reading the Old Testament. You haven't read the. No, you the, never the, finished the, reading the, the Old Testament. Sorry? You never finished. Who told you that? You must reread it. Now you know what I think when you just said you don't know what I think. I'd and rather you're... reread that than read the Quran. Okay, look. I, if you think my intentions are ill. That's fine. That that's your opinion. You can have it, right? Yeah. What I want to say from this conversation I'm a is. Pretty good judge of character. Okay. Whatever whatever you think of me, to me is irrelevant. What I want to get from this conversation is the following: not you liking me, not you being my friend. That's something no, I don't no. care about. What I, I care don't. about what I care about is the following: you, before you have a bad idea about Muslims, at least read about them. At least ask them what they believe. Rather than following what people are saying about them. I don't judge you based on what other people are saying about you. Well, all I see is that it ruins countries. countries what ruins countries? Are the British Muslim. ruin countries? Well, look, at a good example, a recent example is Lebanon and Beirut. You know? They are they've been colonized by liberalism. That's what happened to them. Yeah, but who's, who are the government? So, like, so what ruined them is, is your country. Is the government not affiliated with Muslims, with um, Hezbollah? No. no. Who told you, who gave you, who you get your information from? Well, it's certainly not from the mainstream certainly news. Certainly online somewhere certainly on YouTube. not from the news, because they won't talk about this Where stuff. is it from? They don't want to mention Hamas. They pretend Hamas doesn't The only exist. thing news talks about are Muslims, being terrorists or this or that. That's the only thing they talk about. What do you think the Beirut citizens, do you think they're happy? Sorry? Do you think the Beirut citizens are happy? I haven't with their, been to Beirut, so I cannot make a claim about them. Explosive chemicals in the center of their city, which just blew the whole city. Have you have you been to Beirut? Do you think that would happen? Oh no, I disagree with you. The, you're talking about the explosion that happened. Yeah. Do you think they would allow that in Jerusalem? Oh, they had explosions in in in, what, in, in just Israel. Just leave all these chemicals They had explosions. They had explosions and fires in right, Israel. Right, yeah. They had that every day. Sorry. All the time. So all the time in Beirut. Well, when was the last time before the recent it's not, one? It's not acceptable Sorry? that the government allows these ke dangerous chemicals to just sit there. I agree. Yeah, How is that relevant to what Muslims think and believe? you saying none of that government is, 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 is Muslim. Someone being Muslim, does it mean every action he does is Islamic? Well, I'm just saying that it's corrupted the, the government. So, can you tell me where Jewish, did Islam corrupt the if government? It was, run by the, it was run by the Jews. So Islam told the government to go make chemicals and explode themselves. No, it's just they're corrupt, so they don't keep an eye on. You know, they don't run at things well. It's not well okay, organized. Okay, and Islam told them not to do that. Well, maybe it's a, it's a side effect of, of. That's what you think. I'm telling okay, you that's not uh, true. Hamas and Pal you know, you're telling me that Hamas is not wrapped up with the Palestinian government. Hamas is fighting the Jewish people. Yes. And the Jewish people are and, and Jewish people are fighting Hamas. Yes. They're killing their children and they're killing their children. Yes. There's a fight going on, been going on for years now. I'm not gonna change it, you're not gonna change it. No. Fights happen, wars happen. But do you think no. the civilians of Palestine are happier than the civilians of No, Israel? I think which which ones? The the, 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 the Palestinians or the Jewish people? Who do you think has a better quality of life? The Israelis The Jewish people in the, the, the Jewish people. There you go. Yeah, but because they forced because they forced, they forced they forced they forced the I other people to have low life. Is that is that what you agree with? No, I'm just saying if 
if Palestine became just became Jewish, became Jewish by force. Be, no, they would. Be, they would by force. Better, but they'd have a better quality of life. So by force, they should they should submit well, and kneel want, down. A lot of them wish they were and kneel down. Don't you, think, you know, you you are a Jewish sheep. And that's, I would say, that's the end of this conversation. Now you're just making personal attack. Right? Uh, no, it's the truth. No, okay. You, well, do you believe you should bow down to the Jews? But you can't deny. Do you believe you should bow down, bow down to the Jews? Yeah. Okay. That's it. Done. Zionist. Done. I'm done with this conversation. No, okay. We work together. Thank you for your time. No, no. I know you. You can bow down to them. Thank you. You don't like it.